good morning once again, everybody. Hi. Introduce myself once again. My name is Mae Nasri, and I'm your host for today. And we're welcoming you to a somewhat a sense of Gojak in Phuket, Thailand. And welcome everyone to a beauty talk session for number one de Chanel event in Phuket. I'm so happy to be here and I hope you guys have had a good rest. We're going to have fun today and learn a little bit more about the Camellia, number one de Chanel. So it's not just me that are going to be talking to you today. We have an honorable guest flew all the way from France to be with us to tell us a little bit more about this amazing properties of Camellia and also how special it is, the number one de Chanel. I'm sure you have used it. I'm sure you loved it, I hope. And please welcome Ms. Armel Suhrad, mm -hmm. Chanel Scientific Communication Director. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Please. Hello and welcome. Hello. Thank you for welcoming me. How do you like Phuket? I feel extremely well. I think I will stay there. No? <laughs> <laughs> you have a whole week to be here, and we're so honored to have you with us today um, to tell us a little bit more about Number One de Chanel. Um, we had a great pleasure to meet um, in March yes. in Gojak, and I got to see the Camellia. It was absolutely amazing. Could you maybe tell us a little bit more about what is it like over there, just for all our guests to experience it as well? Yes, for sure. It's a pleasure to meet you again. So thank you for that. I think that um, at her time, as you all know, Gab the Camellia is really the favorite flower of Gabrielle Chanel. We all know that. And I think at her time, she really perceived the value and the strengths. Right. You know, in French, we say that it's really a force of nature. Mm. And I think what fascinates me the more in the camellia, it's its resilience, you know, its resistance. Because the camellia is blooming, you remember, during winter time. Winter. So it means it's a harsh, it's a really rigorous environment, but the camellia keeps, you know, its energy, its vitality to bloom, to grow. And the more the camellia grows, the more it's beautiful. So I think it's an amazing, we teach, we can really learn a lot from Camellia. And that's also what fascinates our scientists. They wanted to know more about the secret of the Camellia, the secret of this resistance and this resilience. And it inspired us as well. I feel like after the trip, it's just inspired you to, to learn more about nature, what nature can offer you. It's not just how, how beautiful it is yes. because Everyone commented on my photo saying that, is that flower real? <laughs> because it looks exactly like yes, on, right. on the bag that we would see in the boutique, but it actually looked like that. And it, the properties, what, what you as a company found in camellias are amazing. So we're going to definitely experience more about that today. Yes. Um, personally, as someone who have tried a lot of products, I, I find number one to Chanel very, very easy to use, easy to get into. Mm -hmm. It's probably, I feel like it's it's a, a starter for someone who wants to start using Chanel. Can you tell us a little bit more why number one to Chanel is such a such a good start? I think as you mentioned just before, I think it's a good, yes, it's a good starter, but it's uh, it's um, it's more than that. I think it's, um, when we speak about number one, you know, it's a holistic approach to beauty. Mm -hmm. For us, it's very important. It means we will take care of us as a wall. It right. means the mind and the body. And that's why it's very important. And speaking about number one, too, I think it's, it's um, you know, it's a lot of pleasure when you really use it. It's extremely efficient. And when we speak about efficacy, sometimes people are wondering if it works in a long-term way, for example. So right. my favorite, for example, I don't know for you, but my favorite product in number one, it's really the serum. It's really highly concentrated. It's very fluid, very light. It absorbs quickly. You don't have to wait mm. to apply uh, your routine just after. And it really concentrates all the power of the red camellia inside. And I think you feel it when you apply it, you know? And sometimes people were wondering, okay, I can use it one month, two months, but after, what happens? Mm. And that's why we decided for the very first time for this serum, you know, to, uh, to perform uh, six months trials. Mm. Because, you know, and especially when it's part of your starter and your kids, when you want to preserve um, your 
the useful skin. It's a sort of capital that we all have. We need to protect and to preserve it in a long-term way. So long-term is very important. Mm. That's why it was important to see what happened after six months of use. Right. Is it flat or does it really continue to work? And to be honest, when we performed this six-month test, we were, it, it's, the results were really beyond our expectation. What we did is during six months, uh, the women were used to really apply it on a daily basis. And it was a clinical test. And what we saw that after six months of use, we were speaking, you know, about a sort of index that combined all the different signs of aging, the main concern that the we concerns, all yeah. have. And after six months of use, all the different signs have multiply, are multiplied by five. It means that the months, months after months, the more you use the product, the more you can see the result we obtain like that in terms of performance. So it was like very, very amazing because we know, and we, you will see when you apply the product, of course it brings a lot of pleasure because it's also a very emotional product that has been designed in this way, mm -hmm. but also you really see the difference and the way your skin is really transforming itself. Mm -hmm. And it's something that is really always good news yeah. to know that the more you will use it, the more you will really see and feel the difference. You said the serum is your favorite. Yes. May I add, the serum is also my favorite, <laughs> but you have to use it with the cream. Yes. If you haven't tried both together, <laughs> I urge you to do so because I feel like the cream is, is it seals everything, the benefits of the serum. And um, this tiny little detail that I want you to tell us a little bit, because I was surprised about this when okay. I was in Goja, was the cap of the cream was actually made from the seed of the pilia? Exactly. Yes, exactly. It's being recycled and used yes. as a cap of the cream. If you didn't know that, you will get to see because they slice the cap in half for you to see later on over there. It is so amazing. You guys are so, you know, thoughtful about every single little details. And that, that is absolutely amazing to me. Yes, it's, I think... Yeah. Uh, the first time when we were working with the teams and they told us what they wanted to do, I was like you, very exciting, say, yes, we can do that. And this is why we have also this Open Sky Life dedicated to the camellia, because we can, as you see, we can really analyze the camellia, the different parts of the camellia, and just sort of, you know, of virtuous approach, virtuous circle. It means we really want to valorize the different parts of the camellia. Mm -hmm. And that's why they decided to use the shelves and to put them in the cap of the cream mm -hmm. for its strengths. And it's it's very very first time that we we we, we did that, and I think it's uh, it's uh, give us for the future a lot of um, a lot of ideas to innovate and to really use the camellia at the earth of the formulas, but also in the packaging to valorize all the parts of the plants. It's a virtuous circle that we really want to to follow and to nourish. Yes, so. I, I totally understand why you were exciting about it because I was too. Yeah, I was just standing there in the lab with Mr. Nicola <laughs> yes. inside, and I was just like, is that the cap, really? It was so amazing. Okay, so as you all know, we have a special guest, another special guest that will be joining us today. Since we talk about first skincare, skincare that can you know, be a start and also it can maintain you as a long-term skincare product as well. So I would like all of us to welcome Ali Ashirayanitiponka. Please give her a warm welcome, Ali. Hi. Hi. Please have a seat. Hi. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> She's very excited. I'm very excited. And nervous, but don't be. <laughs> okay. We're among friends here, of course. Um, may I ask how important skincare is to you? Well, to start off, I have very, very dry skin because um, as you know, I work and I put on makeup every day and I get very minimal sleep because I do online school and so I sleep at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. every day. You don't look like you sleep at 3 a.m. because of <laughs> skincare, I bet. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, so I just uh, discovered number one dish now and I really feel like it helps because um, it instantly revitalizes your skin, moisturizes your skin, mm. and um, it just leaves you feeling really glowy. Mm. And so I, on free days that I don't have to put on makeup, I just, you know, leave my skin and let it 
soak up the natural air <laughs> with my skincare, and it leaves your skin feeling really nice and just moisturized. So I think it's really important to have skincare that you trust in and you love. Is there anything that you would like to add in terms of how how people should start using their skincare, especially youngsters, you know, the, the Gen Z, as we <laughs> called it, which is so far away from my age. <laughs> the Gen Z. Is there anything, because we have a lot of press here that are writing about, you know, when youngsters want to start using their skincare, is there any approach that you want to add? I think it's it's great to have um, to start earlier, especially when we speak about protection and preservation of the quality of your skin. It's really a, the, this capital that I was mentioning the before. Mm -hmm. And I think it's part of the full also way of life because we all know that there are a lot of stresses around. It could be because you yeah. don't have time to sleep and we all know that the way we are living has an impact of the quality of the skin. That's why it's very important, I think so, to start early and then to find the right product that makes sense for you. And sometimes depending on the weather, depending on the and the way you are living, it could be great sometimes to add and to fine tune it. It has to be customized and to really uh, meet your needs. And uh, speaking about hydration, speaking about comfort, it's key. It's the first anti-aging step. So yeah. that's why it's very, very important. And then, of course, it has to be a little more sophisticated, depending on uh, with age. With and this age. is a saying for me. <laughs> <laughs> with age, we have, of, of course, to combine the product. And um, for example, when we are speaking about the serum and the cream, it's something that is a, a duo that is key, yes, for sure. Okay, so I'm sure we all have got some experience because we have some of the, not some of the, every single number one additional product in your villa that you might have gotten to try last night and continue to keep using. But of course, we want you to learn more and experience more like what I have experienced in the Open Sky <laughs> Lab. It was amazing, but we try as much as we can to let you experience that today. And we have our amazing scientists with us today to answer your questions. If you want to know more about the ingredients of how the little camellia flower is doing so much in so many ways, okay? So thank you, you both, for being with us today. Thank you. And we'll, you will still be with us and yes. experience this with us. We still have the lab, the tiny little lab behind us. And also over there, um, you can experience every single product, create content, enjoy this morning together. Thank you. 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 Thank you.